Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and in this video, we're going to be looking at some of the newest, most expensive cars in the game as of right now that you can sell for a lot of credits in Forza Horizon 4. As you know, the auction house is very different to what it once was. The prices you buy and sell the cars for are based on supply and demand. If the cars get bought out quick, then the buyout prices will rise and vice versa. Now what I like about this new auction house is since Playground Games are always bringing in new cars into the game every month, it changes the entire complexity of the rare car market as all the buyout prices have now become dynamic. So you don't necessarily know which cars you own that are currently worth a lot, but in today's video, let's take a look at 8 of them and just how expensive they are today. Starting off with number 1, the Ford F-150 pre-runner Deberti design truck. Entering the Horizon 4 car list in update 14, the pre-runner Deberti was made available to unlock during the winter season in mid-October of 2019. Since then, the car I do not believe has been made available during any other time, whether it's through the Forzathon shop or as a single championship reward. With a handful of other Deberti designed vehicles in the game like the Mustang and the Jeep, this is by far the rarest out of the entire collection and is one of the most highly sought after vehicles as of right now. With a current price tag of 20 million credits, if you are lucky enough to own more than one, now is your chance to make some credits. Number 2, the Volkswagen IDR. Much like the Ford pre-runner Deberti design, this Volkswagen IDR was introduced to Horizon 4 within the same update. But what made the IDR stand out from the rest of the cars in Horizon 4 is the fact that it was a Pikes Peak car, essentially a fully built race vehicle and it was also fully electric. Something the community have been asking for in a very long time and Playground Games delivered. So with the car itself being very special, couple that with the IDR being available to unlock once during the autumn season, just a week prior to the pre-runner by having to win the dreaded trials event, which for those who do not have Xbox Live, would not have had the chance to unlock this. Yeah, this is a car that everybody wants. So what's the price tag on one of these you might ask? Well, right now it'll cost you 20 million credits. Number 3, the Ferrari 599XX E. Ah yes, it's no surprise that this car is the fastest car in the game surpassing speeds at over 320 miles per hour. It's pretty much the car that we all want. Now this car was actually first introduced in update 8 and was made available to unlock by completing 50% of the autumn season back in late April of 2019. And for around 5 months, the car was not seen to be available to collect anywhere else. And also, during that time, the auction house was still under its old format, so players just decided to keep their Ferrari. But again, in update 14, the Ferrari was made available once again, but this time, you just needed to win an offline seasonal championship, which was far easier. Along with the update of the auction house, the Ferrari in the beginning was ridiculously cheap only being able to outright sell the car for less than 300,000 credits, maybe it was a little too soon as it was just made available to win. Well, two months after, the prices have risen by a lot, with the 599XXE now currently being worth at 16 million credits. Number 4, the Chevrolet Monte Carlo Supersport. Here is a car I have found that was surprisingly expensive, and that is the Chevrolet Monte Carlo Supersport. The reason I say this is because, well, the car isn't a DLC, not a seasonal reward, but it's actually available to everybody in the game. All you have to do is complete and 3-star the entire Horizon Life story of LA Racer, and you will get this car for free. But it seems as though many players either want more than one in their collection or they just can't be bothered completing the story mission. Either way, it's an easy way to make some credits in Horizon 4 as realistically this car isn't competitive in the game at all, but the demand is high so if you don't care for this car, it's time to auction it off with a buyout price of 16.1 million credits. Number 5, the Hudson Hornet. Now, for many of you may not think much about this vehicle, and you are correct, in the lineup of vehicles in Horizon 4, 
Speed and handling wise, this is nowhere to be seen at the top, but it is a historical vehicle. It changed the automotive world for the better. In the real world, the Hudson Hornet set new safety standards, interior spaces, and ironically, handling too, and was a car that was so cleverly engineered that during the time of the 50s, where most manufacturers were using V8s to extract the most horsepower, the Hornet utilized a smaller six-cylinder engine, which would produce more power, yet have a lighter engine. In the world of Horizon 4, the Hornet was introduced back in Update 4 before the release of the Festival playlist, and since then it has appeared three more times to collect, once by completing 80% of a winter season, and twice in the Forzathon shop during Update 10 and Update 12. And still, after all those times we were given to collect this vehicle, it's still amongst one of the most expensive vehicles as of right now with a current price tag of 15.3 million credits. Number 6, the Rosian Q1. This is a very unique vehicle that when it was first announced in Horizon 4, not many people knew about it. Essentially what this car is, it's a Noble M12, not the Noble M600 that is in the game, and it was made to be more comfortable and easier to drive. With the engine being the same using old Ford parts, it's still a 3.0-litre twin-turbo V6 producing 450 brake horsepower. Even though the car is rear-wheel drive, from 0 to 60, it can be done in just over 3 seconds, which is the likes of a Ferrari 458 Italia and the latest Ford GT. Now, in the world of Horizon 4, this car was introduced in Update 15, being made unlockable in a seasonal playground games event during the summer season, which I will say is probably worse than the Trials event. And once again, since this does require an Xbox Gold membership, a lot of people didn't get a chance to collect this car and has not appeared as a reward of Forzathon Shop since. With all those factors determining its worth, the price tag of the Q1 is currently at 15 million credits. Number 7, the McLaren 720S Spider. Okay, so we have the normal McLaren 720S already, but that is available to purchase all the time as it's in the auto show. However, this Spider version was only introduced to Horizon 4 in Update 14 and was made available to unlock in a seasonal championship during spring in the middle of October in 2019. Now, after a month later, the Spider has yet to be seen again to collect, but given that this is a Horizon game, open top cars are perhaps a little more satisfying to drive around, particularly in cockpit view, but performance wise compared to the hard top version, these two cars are almost identical. Whatever the reason is, when this was introduced alongside the McLaren 600 LT, while that car is worth merely 2 million credits, the McLaren 720S Spider can be sold for 12.1 million credits. And number 8, the KTM Crossbow GT4. Much like the Hudson Hornet, this car was introduced very early on in the game, debuting in Update 3 as a car you can buy through the Forzathon shop, with a price tag of just 200 Forzathon points back in late November of 2018. I believe this car was overlooked by many as it is a very good track car, but just simply not the best. However, since then, the GT4 made a couple more appearances, once again in the Forzathon shop in Update 6, and also as a seasonal playlist reward for completing 50% of a season. Out of the entire list I've mentioned in today's video, this car is more of a wild card. Honestly, I did not expect this car to be worth so much, and the price tag for one of these right now will set you back 10 million credits. So, there we have it, guys eight new most expensive cars in the game as of right now if there are any other cars that i have missed out make sure to put it down in the comment section below i do read all of your comments guys now some cars i have left out like the mercedes g63 6x6 simply because i featured it in a previous video but anyways if you guys did enjoy this video and found this video helpful please make sure to smash the thumbs up button that would really help me out and also if you guys would like to see more forza horizon 4 content and also need for speed heat in the upcoming future, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.